Hello everyone and welcome to another exciting camera tutorial. My name is Ed and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to use cutouts, GIFs and stickers to make your presentations even funner and even more persuasive. Presentations are powerful tools of persuasion but can equally be powerful tools of boredom. Let's face it, we've all been there. Engaging additions like GIFs, cutouts and stickers go a long way to making your presentation memorable and attention grabbing. Lucky for us, Canva makes it easier than ever to add these to your presentation. So let's hop into Canva and dial up the magic on one of our example presentations. Here we are in Canva. We have a framework set out for the short presentation which we're going to build out. And I recommend building a framework or skeleton presentation first like this when you're creating presentations of your own. So this is a persuasive presentation that I'll be presenting to my roommates at my fortnightly roommate meeting. It's titled Why We Should Get a Puppy and as the title reads, I'm going to be employing my presentation skills to make a case to my roommates as to why we should get a puppy. I'm going to keep the background color and the font and the speckle texture we have here layered as well. I'm going to keep those around but I'm going to make some other edits and additions to dial up the fun factor of this presentation. So beginning with the title page, I can immediately tell it could use some images and there's an opportunity to add some fun here. The first slide is likely setting a high tone or a low tone for the rest of the presentation so it's important we give this the love it needs. A good place to start would be to add a puppy here seeing as this is the overall theme and purpose of this presentation. You can search Canva's photo library for some puppy images and find a puppy image suitable for this slide. So we just search puppy in the photos tab um, and looking through these are all super cute any of these could work but I do like this first one which is quite fortunate of me that it was really high up in the search results. So now let's select it and run background remover over it just to remove some of that grey and that sort of surface there. That's all done and looking great. Let's now recrop the photo edges so that it's a bit tighter towards our subject. And let's place it over here and move our text out of the way. I think what we can do here is align our text to the left, have it looking something like that, make our puppy a bit bigger and have it sitting beside the text. That looks awesome. I'll move this a bit lower and move this a bit lower too. Terrific. I think a great addition to this first slide would be to add a bit of grass to give our puppy something to be sitting on. The puppy seems like it's floating right now and I think some grass would give this slide some more colour and character. So I'm going to search for, in the photos tab again, grass. And let's go through a few of these options and see which one catches our eye. So I quite like this one because it has a bit of depth. The grass goes back for a while. So I'm gonna place this into our design and just reposition it and send that backwards just to bring our dog forwards onto it. And that looks pretty good. I do say so myself. We can probably make our puppy a little bit larger. Let's lock our grass and group select our text without selecting the grass at the same time. I think we can make our title text a bit smaller and move that up just because I don't want it sort of overlapping with the grass and then the noisiness of the grass sort of distracting you from this text over here. That looks good. So this is looking great, but of course, I'm not gonna stop there. <laughs> I wanna be a little cheeky with this heading. I want my roommates to know that we need a puppy, not that we just should have a puppy. I'm gonna place a scribble sticker potentially over the word should and add some text over that. I'll show you what I mean. So let's go to elements and then search for scribble. And I think an animation could be cool here. So let's apply a filter. I like that. Yep. So I'm going to angle that and I'm going to resize and I'm going to put that over the word should. And what I'm going to do now is add the word need to over the word should. So why we need to get a puppy. And this will make more sense once I add the text over. I'm just going to select this and add the word need to. And I'm going to layer that text over the word should. But I'm going to make the text a bit smaller just so you can tell, you can kind of tell that the word should was there. And I want to change the font of this to be something a bit more scribble than informal. So I'm going to go for a handwritten font. I'm going to search through these for a good fit. I think I like that. And there we go. I'm liking this first slide. So we're now moving on to our second slide, which is the reasons why we should have a puppy. So we have a few points we'd like to communicate here. We'd like to communicate that we should get a puppy because of the cardio and the walking that owning a dog entails. Uh, because dogs are cute, obviously, and because dogs are cuddly. 
I want the reasons why text to stand out. So I might add a box behind it to make it clearly discernible as a heading. Let's do that by heading to elements. And let's go for like a text box. Let's type that in and see what comes up. Let's change this static actually. I might go for something static here. And this could be cool. I like that. Now let's change the color of that. We could probably go for a brown just to fit in with the dog the puppy theme we have going on here. So I think that'd be a good fit. We've got this, this sort of maroon or marigold mix color over here. Let's change that. Let's make a custom color. Um, I want to make it. I think that's a nice brown. Love that. I'm going to reposition that. I might move this down here for now. Reposition that up top. I might reduce the tilt of that slightly, make that just a bit. Center that, not center, it's very centered. Perfect. I'm happy with that so far. I was quite inspired by the puppy cutout on the previous page and also want to highlight a few different breeds of dogs somehow in this presentation just for a little bit of puppy inclusivity. My roommates may also prefer different breeds due to things like allergies, how much the puppy sheds and so on and so forth so I want to show a few dogs. I might use this one again but I might search for a few other puppies to use here as well. And if I can make them fit in with these words here, the context of these words, that'd be awesome. So I think for cuteness, we can use this initial image. So I might put that here to start with. Cardio and walks, let's go back and search puppy here in images and see if we could find a dog being active or a puppy being active. Let's take as long as we need to going through here, finding a great fit. And I think we found the image we, we might use here for cardio and walks. This dog looks like it's running with a ball in its mouth. I think that's a great image for this slide. Yeah, we're just running background remover over this. And as we can see, there's a bit of grass on this puppy's foot. So I might actually position this in a way where that foot is cut out of the frame. So this is how that might look. Yeah, it might just, yeah, put that text over here for now. Yeah, and that's looking good. And now I've got this cuddle call out. So we want to find a puppy looking very cuddly here. Let's go back up to the top and just review these again with that in mind. I think this could be a really good one. And that does show a different breed. So yeah, let's run that through background remover as well. And terrific background remover comes in so handy. That's a camera pro feature FYI, and it comes in handy so often. Perfect. So we go. This is looking good. I might just resize these because I want to work out the spacing for all this. Okay, that works for me. I'm now going to change the text to be a bit more tongue in cheek. I'm not sure how I feel about just like mentioning these as simple words. I think I want to be a bit funner with this text. So let's change this to something like something a bit more persuasive. So something like cardio walks and why that's so good because it's fun <laughs> um, let's change this to instead of cuteness potentially puppy dog eyes just because this puppy is looking super cute and those eyes are glistening <laughs> and let's change this to cuddles and love just because puppies are great for cuddles and they show us a lot of love so our text is just hovering here. So I might add some speech bubble stickers to frame this text and add some movement to this slide. I'm gonna go back and try and find that animated text box that we saw earlier. I did say I was gonna come back for it, here we are. I love that. So I think this will work terrifically for this slide. Let's work on the positioning of this. Let's send that backwards and no, forwards. Okay, let's send our, whoops. Let's move this out of the way. Let's bring our text forward. Let's move it out of the way for now as well. So I'm just going to rework that and resize that to about 48.3. Let's just make that an even 48. Let's make these other ones 48 to match. Just very quickly. Cool. And we've got these magic recommendations down here for two other similar stickers. So let's use those two just to stay sort of on theme in a way. So I'm going to move this text out of the way temporarily, position this how I want it. And that's actually a good sticker for this particular subject, this particular puppy, because it looks like a thought bubble coming from our sleeping puppy. And we'll use this one here as well for 
our leftmost subject over here. It's going to make that a tad bit larger and we can add our text in place and then just push that forward onto our text box. Terrific. It's going to work on positioning these and just a few taps, a few nudges. There we go. And this is looking terrific. This is a very fun side. I might move this a little bit over this way. And this is looking much more balanced there. Love that. So moving on to our next slide is this slide here. It speaks to the practicality of owning a dog. I want to assure my roommates that I'll be footing most of the bill when it comes to maintenance of our puppy. First and foremost, take this heading from our previous slide and we'll just move it over here. Change the text to also, and we can remove this. So now I've got the same consistent heading as the slide before, which is great. I think what we could do here is to add some simple stickers underneath each of these points just to better visualize each point. So I might quickly group select these and then head to position and just space these evenly horizontally so we have these split out into thirds, I guess. This is looking great. I might now just nudge this a little up just so we have some space underneath it to add our animated stickers. And I'm going to search for clean for this first one. I like this text as it is, so I might just keep it the way it is and just go straight for the, uh, for the stickers. I do like this broom animated sticker over here, just because I do anticipate that the puppy is going to create some messes and bite some furniture and spill things. <laughs> And then with our next one, feed. So let's go for something like food, perhaps. And let's go through a few of these and see which one we think would be a good fit here. And I think I do like this one here. So I'm just going to align that with our other sticker. And make sure they're the same size. Perfect. And then I'm going to search for reward or something for the last one. Or maybe like happy. Hmm. I do like this happy days sticker. I think that'd be great here. Let's put that in. Terrific. And we're done. This is a simple but much needed slide. And now we're up to our last slide where we gauge the feelings our roommates are having about this proposition. I'm thinking for this slide that we use gifts to convey the different emotions and give our roommates the cue to choose between several gifts which portray different moods. It's hard to imagine right now, but let me show you what that means. So I'm going to quickly again borrow this title, I'll be happy you. And I'm going to change that to so what do you think? I'll position that in the center. I might copy our text box and add another small one down here just to give us a little extension for our second line. And just reposition that slightly. And that's looking good. So I'm gonna remove this old one. Great. First, let's add three circular frames side by side. We can do this by heading to elements. Let's leave this and search for circle frame. I'm just gonna change it to static now. And here we are, three of those. I'm just going to make sure these are the same size. What I can do is just copy that three times. Cool. What I can now do is head to position, space evenly, horizontally. That's going to position them in a way where they're all evenly spaced, much like we used up here with these headings. And I'm just going to place those over here. Group them, center them, and then ungroup them. Terrific. Let's now add our GIFs into this design. So we're going to head to more down here and then click on this Giphy integration. So from here, we can search all of the GIFs on Giphy within Canva and add them into our design. Let's start with something to represent excitement. Let's look for an excited GIF. Getting really lucky with these first search results. I think this is terrific. This this has me pumped. So I want my roommates to feel pumped as well. So I'm gonna add that into here. Yep, that's looking great. So make that a bit bigger and crop that subject into the center. And love that. Next, we're gonna look for a happy gif. We're gonna quite simply search for happy. And I do like this Patrick Star gif over here. So let's add this in. There we go. Much like the other one, I'm just going to quickly recenter this. And I'll want 
another option here for indifference. So I'm going to search for indifferent. Something to sort of symbolize that you're on the fence about this. I want it to not be very negative looking. I'm just going to go through a few of these. I do like this. The subject seems to be contemplating it, which is just good. That's what I'm after here. So let's add this GIF into our frame, just like that. And now the reason why I haven't shown a negative or unimpressed GIF option here is because I want to play on a little bit of psychology here. I want to suggest these feelings to my roommates. So even if they are unimpressed, they'll choose this indifferent option here at the very worst. It means I can work on changing their position on this matter well after the presentation is done. And now we're all done. Here are the framework slides of our presentation before. And now these are the presentation slides after we've added all the elements and magic. Next time you're creating a presentation, consider how you can dial up the fun factor by including cutouts of images, stickers and GIFs. Working in some cues and questions also helps. Did you like this tutorial? If so, please let us know by dropping a like on this video. If you found any of the lessons here useful, we'd also love to hear it in the comments below. And I will catch you in the next tutorial.